Is the whole world a simulation? В науке существуют гипотезы симуляции. In science, there is the simulation hypothesis, the meaning of which is that everything around us is a program, and we are all sort of living in a computer game. Some aspects of this theory are supported by quantum mechanics and many theoretical physicists. Experiments and research are being conducted by serious scientific and educational institutions like Cambridge and Oxford. What does magic have to say about this? Magic has a lot to say about this, and it can explain everything too, in fact. And Another thing is that magic, in general, can easily be explained from the point of view of quantum theory. This theory explains any magical effect and explains it very well, including the hypothesis that we all live in a certain program, in a matrix, in a quantum reality, in a virtual reality, within a program, within a game. Each uses his own term. Another thing is that we need to be careful not to confuse ourselves, not to deceive ourselves. We need to be cautious about how we understand the concept of a program, computer, or game as we know it now. We have current knowledge, mentally conditioned and confirmed by actual experience, of what a program looks like, what a game is and looks like, and what a computer is, and perhaps we even know theoretically about quantum reality. And all of this is wrong, because the program by which our reality is built is not the program we see running on the computer. It is built on the same principle, but, in fact, it is more complicated and based on different physics. And the game is not the game we play as the main character but the game where we are controllable characters. And this implies different physics and other capabilities. This operational system is not the one we are used to, not the one that controls or at least uses this program and system. It is a completely different program where we are clusters with the right and ability to either influence or execute that program. And at any given moment, we can become both a player and a character. And all of that, including the probability of becoming a player or a character at this point, is a general program. All of that is magic. From the point of view of quantum theory, magic explains it very well. Another thing is that quantum theory also doesn't contain all complete descriptions of quantum effects. It is just beginning to develop, just beginning to evolve. It's going to keep developing by leaps and bounds, and moreover, already now, there are calculated probabilities that if science and technology continue to progress at the current pace, then probably in a hundred years we will be able to create a virtual reality that will be indistinguishable in sensations and images from the reality we have now. Maybe that's why all technological developments, opportunities and progress are dampened. Maybe it's just not the right time, or maybe not all the algorithms have been worked out. Or maybe the evil forces are oppressing us this way, preventing the creation of new realities, at least using technologies, not to mention using our own minds. All of these questions still need to be answered, but the answer will come when we try to think about it a little bit and look at today's reality from a different perspective, a slightly different angle. I said at the very beginning that the key here lies in a magical versus human view on this issue. The difference is that a person looks from one point of view, and having found one standpoint as a rule doesn't look any further. The magical view says that a single viewpoint cannot exist by definition, and the more these points, quantum points, the more likely one will find a more complex and accurate understanding of how the system behaves under certain circumstances. That will be my answer to you. Будет мой вам ответ.